Hello, this is Debbie Crawford with Kentuckiana News, and we're here with Matt True, who is in charge of all the safety at the Madison Regatta. Now, there's some of the things people don't realize with the Regatta. There are rules with drones, there's rules with the bridge, and what are some of those? There really are. So let's cover the bridge thing first. So yes. first of all, uh, during racing and, and dur well, during the day, the bridge, the pedestrian bridge is shut down. Yes. It's for safety of drivers, it's for safety of the public, and, and it's also for to keep our, our things flowing. So if we have to worry about trying to clear the pedestrian walkway, that delays the racing, that, that delays the, the start of the next heat for people to come out and take a look, whatever's going on for the day. So just like commercial boat traffic through the race course, uh, that would really tax our day, um, resetting the race course, things like that. So so basically on, on that pedestrian bridge walkway there, that's why that's closed down as well. And it's, it's just for really everyone's safety. Yeah, and that can be just because you may drop your Coke can and that would hit the boat and interfere with the jets and all. So it's just for the mainly for the drivers. It's not for your safety. It's for their safety. Absolutely. So. Everybody has the intentions of I'm yeah. going to hang on to this. I'm going to hang on to that. <laughs> but we're prepared for worst case right. scenario because that's what we have to do. Yeah. So we, it's, it's easier for us to just shut down the pedestrian traffic. And, that, and, and, and then and then there's also there's certified drones that are FAA certified during the races. Yes, there are. And they're the only ones that are allowed up, right? Yes, that's correct. They have to be registered with them and you have to have a license for that as well. And uh, for, for some people who might have those here, um, please leave leave those at home uh, because the FAA will be here for the weekend. They're, they're arriving this afternoon and they're going to be here for the duration of the event. Uh, so so please leave those at home because they, they, they'll take enforcement action. They can they can possess your drone yeah. and they can find you. And local law enforcement has, has been instructed uh, uh, those same rules. So they're going to get involved. It's not just a couple of FAA guys that have to try to chase everybody down. It's every policeman, every fireman, every, everybody spotting for these things because it's a safety issue. There's lots of people up and down the river here. Uh, and if your drone happens to be the one that, that some type has some kind of malfunction and runs into the crowd and people get hurt, then, then that's a, a huge liability issue for you that no one wants to take on. Um, but we, we just we don't need to deal with that during the event. So please leave those things at home. This certainly is not the place to do that. And and you, you, you really run a high risk of getting yourself caught and yourself in trouble with the local law enforcement and the federal law enforcement that will be here for the weekend. And they are very expensive and you don't want to lose them. So And they'll keep them. So. That's very true. And the fine that they can, to, can assess you is is probably much more than what, what anybody has in the bank to take care of fines. So let's just avoid that issue and not bring those down for the weekend. It'll be awesome. That's a great idea. Now there's a few other things that we need to remember when we're along the water along the shoreline. Yes, when we're along the shoreline, any anytime anybody happens to be in the water, then, then we're not allowed to do a, 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 an air show and or a boat race. So please uh, you know, keep out of the water when when uh, when boats are running, keep out of the water when there's an air show going on. We understand it's a hot environment down here. Sometimes if you, there's a break, like right now there's a break in the action, we can run down and, and cool ourselves off a little bit. But but parents especially, you know, keep track of your kids, um, you know, keep them out of the way. And, and, uh, and, and I know it's easy to, to get busy watching things and, and all that. I, I get that I understand but but we need your help policing the, the, the waterway down there we don't have enough security staff and or fencing to make sure that, that, that that's a definitive thing for us so again we're, we're asking you to take the personal responsibility for really your safety because these these boats are going fast enough goodness forbid we've had accidents here in the past so please just just take care of yourselves and, and, and be responsible for your safety that way we don't we, we can concentrate on the driver's safety and the events staff safety right. and now, when he's talking about staying out of the water, that's on the Indiana side and the Kentucky side. If somebody gets in the water on either side of the river, they have to stop the races, and that's not going to be any fun for the drivers or the spectators. So No, it's not. It just adds to the, to the day and the frustration uh, yes. of everyone who, who is here to watch boats race. And and I wouldn't want to be the, the person responsible for, no. for causing a delay in the action and upsetting every one of the fans that have paid good money to come watch a race. And, well, it's also taxing on the drivers because they've already raced maybe three-quarters of the race, and and then they have to stop and start again so that's not good for them either they're they're focused and they need to stay focused till they finish the race absolutely so, so thank you for your cooperation in, in that regard well now is there anything else we need to remind them of as far as dehydration and yes there is let's talk about some personal safety issues today uh, we ha again we, we always have limited resources here we're in rural Indiana and rural Kentucky so we, we have a limited number of, of EMTs that are able to respond to, to incidents down here on the river so we're again we're asking for you to take your, your, your personal Personal safety uh, for 
being responsible for yourself personal safety wise. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you've got something to eat. Make sure that you're not the person again who has the ambulance come down to take care of them that has to, to, to pull that resource away. Yeah. Uh, so it, it, it taxes our resources very quickly. Today we have a great environment. It's been much hotter. It's been much more sunny in the past, but today's a great environment. But, but just please remember, stay hydrated, get yourself something to eat in normal intervals so that we don't have to come down and take care of, of a simple issue that you can be taking care of yourself. So again, thank you for cooperating. And, and we're looking forward to a great day and a great race. We want to keep the show going, and, and as much as you can cooperate with us with that, then the better show we're going to be able to provide for you. Make sure you make it out to the Madison Regatta, and keep in mind all the safety things he's told you. Now, make sure we've done everything, right? I think we have, I other than thank covered. you for supporting us. Come down, watch some great racing. We have probably one of the better shows that we've had lined up in years. Oh, yeah. Uh, so come down, I promise. It's going to be something for everybody. The river's been up in the past. Weather has always played an issue. River conditions are great. Weather conditions now after the rain this morning have been wonderful. So come down, check out the action. Uh, there's a cram-packed weekend full of stuff, so please come down and check that out. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. And thank you as always. Thanks for watching. Make sure you make it out to the regatta.